Welcome to the introduction of the analysis grid. The analysis grid makes it possible to explore, shape, and visualize data through an easy to use web interface. Let's get started. With the analysis grid, users can create engaging visual content, filter and aggregate data, and find meaningful answers without technical skill or help from IT. Now I've just created this report in less than 10 minutes. In this video, we're going to reconstruct this report while learning the fundamentals of using the analysis grid. Let's take a look at the tools and features the analysis grid has to offer. Now let's start by selecting a data source. There may be multiple options available to you. This is the underlying database that we desire to connect and pull data from. You now have a list of tables to choose from. The data sets can be joined together to provide extra data fields. You may also untick the checkboxes next to each data field name. This will remove it from the data request. Now, before we begin creating charts, it's important to understand how to filter and format and manipulate data. You may have already noticed that there are tabs for formulas and filters, as well as tools for adding charts and cross tabs. There's also an undo and redo feature in case a mistake is made. Now, filters are really simple to add. Select a filter column, choose a comparator, and then set the value to filter by. You're able to create as many filters as needed, and you may also remove or edit existing filters. Now, formulas allow you to make calculations using data fields you've selected. The formula help button provides uh, some in-depth explanations for the functions and tools available in this feature. If you noticed, when data is selected, you're given a table with the resulting data. The table has tooling for showing, hiding, uh, sorting, grouping, aggregating, and paging. Now, it is possible to focus these modifications to a specific column or field of data. You can achieve this by clicking on the column header. This will allow you to select from an option list in the menu. And in this case, I'd like to format my freight data as currency. Now, when I create charts or other report content, the freight information will display as currency instead of a basic number. Great, looking good. Now that our data has uh, formatting, we can continue to building a chart. The Chart Creator tool has many options that help us visualize the data. The analysis grid will detect field data types automatically and guides us to making a chart that makes sense. Start by selecting the label column. This will be the label for each bar in the chart. Notice how the tool knows that this is a date field and provides us temporal grouping options. Now let's select the freight field in the data column this will show us how much freight was paid for each quarter. And it looks like we need a bit more room to correctly display the content of this visualization. So we can do this by simply clicking and dragging the handles on the right bottom or right bottom corner. Drag the chart and uh, size to your desired height and width. Certain charts allow for the use of forecasting, and in this chart, I want to use a logarithmic regression to show what the next two quarters might look like. And we do have quite a few different options available that uh, would fit our use case. Looking good. Now let's build a crosstab table. In a similar fashion to the chart creator, the cro uh, crosstab creator guides us through to build useful content. I want to use this table to break down all of the totals displayed in the bar visualization, but now I can see how much freight we're spending for each country. This gives me deeper supplemental information uh, that I might not have previously been aware of. All right, so for each column, uh, we can reorder and resize. Uh, I'm going to resize the columns in this table to make it a little bit better for uh, presentation and viewing experience. Let's 
So just simply click the, the handles and uh, move them around or click the handle on the right hand side and that will allow you to readjust the size. Looking good. All right. Now we're done with the cross tab and we've got now uh, two different visual pieces which we can display to users. So in this case, I think I want my bar above the cross tab. And you'll notice all I had to do was uh, simply click and drag and we can rearrange the blocks on this page. Now this report can be given a specific name which can help us identify what content or information it contains when it comes back, uh, when we come back to it, or perhaps share it with other users. The analysis grid has a baked in auto save feature, so any changes we make to the report are saved automatically without the user having to manually click a button. So it looks like we've completed our report and we're ready to ship it out to other users. Thank you so much for joining and watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please stay tuned for more.